Well, how do there, people in the Viewerverse? As I count on other Steve's, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, as you can see over there, I've got my game screen up. Now, I've already done a load of warp jumps, and I've found myself a star bulb planet that doesn't appear to have any sentinels on it. This one here, the ringed one. There is this one over here that looks even more fantabulously lovely because I've got purple grass and red oceans all the other way around. That one says high sentinel activity, so I want to avoid that one really. And I'll go with that one. No sentinels on there. Heck yes. So we're heading to the ringed planet, people. Yeah, I must have done probably about 20 odd jumps before I found this one. So yeah, not, not as straightforward as the other day. Um, which was a lot better to be honest wasn't it people anyway let's make the screen a little bit bigger and let's go and head on down let's find my ship and let's fly on down to the ringed planet cool yeah where are you shippity ship there you are lovely jobs let's jump inside and fly on out yeah i've just realized i've moved my microphone nearer to my person so hopefully you can hear me a lot louder. The only thing is, it's a bit closer to my joypad, so you might hear the old vibrate. You might hear the old clickety-click. But you know what? I'm playing a video game. That's what happens. Oh, look at this. Nuke J has just subscribed. Yes, thank you. Lovely. <laughs> cool, yes, that was New Duke J. Thank you, New Duke J. Right, where's the ringed blinking planet then? Okay, you're not ringed. You are over there. That's nice and easy to spot, isn't it? Let's head to the light side over there. And we're on our way to Giffield Prime. Of course. Lovely jobs. I'm sipping my tea. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Should I move this way a little bit? I think I will. I'm not quite central of my box. There I am. And <laughs> now I'm central of my box. I do like this box. It's good, isn't it? You put your hands through the sides and up to the top. Oh, it's magic. Magical box that I'm a captain. <laughs> right. Or escaping from, whichever way you want to look at it. Oh, God. Right there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yeah, it's not quite as painstaking as Star Citizen, Steve. Don't complain. Heck no. Okay, yeah, I did try playing that, um, Star Citizen, and I must say, it's it's pretty darn freaking special. It is pretty good. Um, but at the same time, it's very buggy. If you think this is buggy, it, Star Citizen is another level of buggy. But not only that, it's another level of, of um, sort of controls and all sorts of stuff. And immersion is pretty good for that. Oh, my days. This planet looks pretty gnarly. All right, well, let's uh, let's put boots on the ground. Let's have a better look at this. I'm going to stick it next to this lovely tree. There we go. Lovely, lovely tree. Cool. Uh, let's jump on out. Ooh. Wow. Look at the colour of the grass on this. This is freaking epic. Love it. This is very awesome, isn't it? All right. Is there any awesome creatures that frequent this world? Okay, what are you? Oh, it's a little bipedal guy. Heck yes. Nice! I like! Okay, we've got um, a goat there as well. Just like the No Man's Sky goat one from the No Man's Sky goat song. Yeah, he looks just like him, in fact. Huh, you're famous. Okay, there's a giant beetle over there. Look at the size of him. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Oh, he's, oh, he's a crab. He's a freaking crab. Oh, he's awesome. He's pretty cute, isn't he? Like him. Okay, well, we've got some pretty cool fauna on here. Some pretty cool grass. I'm liking the um, foliage. I'm liking that mountain range over there as well. Oh, I think we've done pretty good, people, in the view of us. Right, okay, well, let's hit on up some maps then. And let's see how we get on with the archive. Is it going to have one of those giant balls floating above it? Is it going to be red, white, or black? Hmm, is it going to have my... Oh, great. It's not a, it's not a colossal archive. All right, cool. Well, we didn't get lucky this time, people. I might have to clear that off a bit later. Next, let's try again. Boom! Come on, come on, come on! Colossal archive, you know you want to be. And no, observatory. Okay, third time lucky, third time lucky, people, third time lucky, 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 lucky me. Come on, that, that's that. <laughs> if I was lucky, I would have got it on the first time, wouldn't I? Like last episode. Come on! It's going to be a minor settlement. I know it, or a shelter. It's going to be a shelter or a minor settlement. It's not going to be an. Oh no! It's an archive. Third time lucky. Three. It's the magic number. Heck, yes it is. Okay, right. Cool, yeah. <laughs> Let's go lock that one in. Boom. Oh, there's another creature over there that I haven't got yet. Come on, it's like Pokemon. Oh, it's another one of those No Man's Sky goats. What about you? What are you? 
I haven't got you, like an anteater with a sail on its back. All right, cool. Well, we've scanned a load of creatures now. Let's uh, head on over to the archive. I think the fauna here is quite nice. And I love the trees. I love the colour of the grass. I think I like the grass better than the previous planet we was on. The terrain generation on this planet is quite nice. Oh, it says it's going to take me two days to get there. Let's fly on up into space and then fly on back down to the archive. There we go. Boom. And let's spin it down. There's the archive, all the way over there. And we're on way! We're on route to the Colossal Archive. Could have hit up the archive law, couldn't I? I had a little read of those while we was there. And then again, I've got base computers here, so we could always do that one episode towards the end, perhaps, you know? Because I am hoping to do a live showcase of all three of these and show them off. Oh, well, it hasn't got a ball on top, and I don't think it's red. It looks like it might be yellow. Hmm, okay, well, it's quite a nice contrast with the planet, but it doesn't quite fit my logo coloration, heck no. But at the same time, this is a beautiful planet. The planet, I think, wins points over the previous planet. Then again, you can see that it's got a little bit of a storm buffer to us right now, and I don't really want one that's going to be going, Incoming storm! Oh yeah, oh yes, broiling humidity. So, yes, and it's an extreme storm at that. So every now and again, Exo is going to be going, Oh my days! It's the end of the world, or something similar to that. You know what he's like. Fudge and heck, I can't even see which way I'm supposed to bloody go. Oh, this way. All right, okay, well, I don't know whether this one's going to be in the running, just because it's got the extreme storms. I mean, if I build under here, I don't know whether it's going to still go... Ex yeah, I think, I think this one... I don't think we can do this one, people, because it's got the extreme storms. I should have blinked and used my anal analysis visor as soon as I landed, shouldn't I, people? Hmm, broling. What the heck is broling? It surely shouldn't that be boiling? I don't know. You know what? I think we're going to have to. As good as this planet is, people, I, I think I'm going to have to sort of hold my horses and just say, nope, can't do this one. I'll have to find another archive because look at that. The extreme storm is just melting me right now, people. You know what? And the other planet, I think, has got aggressive sentinels. It says aggressive. It says aggressive, but it doesn't say super aggressive. It's not in red. Let's try the other. Let's try the other planet inside of this system, people. But this could be... This might still be in the playlist as an episode. But it might just be a failed episode, people. Okay, well, let's let's go and have a look at the other... The other planet, shall we, people? Okay, right, where are you, other planet? No, so that's that one. There it is, there. Look at it. This one looks freaking nice. I mean, the last one I was on was nice, but this one looks... Okay, fine, just lock on to whatever you want to lock on to. I wanted to go to the planet, but it's taken me to either my ship or my freighter right now, people. New Alarm. Let's uh, try and get it down to New Alarm. No, nope, it's still locking on to a miles away, people. But there it says, high sentinel activity. As long as it doesn't keep saying, extreme sentinel planet, extreme sentinel planet, then we're okay. Right, am I nearer to the planet? Can I actually select the planet now? Look, I want to go there, to the planet. Okay, cool, lovely. Now it's letting me go to the planet. Super, color, fragilistic, XP, aladacious. I'll tell you what, I'm going to plug my headset in, into the actual uh, laptop, and hopefully I'm going to be able to hear whether Exo goes freaking bananas, because that's, that's the only thing that's going to be putting me off of going to this planet. Head on down. Go. Cool. Now it's got red oceans. It's even got patches of red grass amongst the purple. Nice. Oh, and it's all shroomified as well as trees. What an interesting mix. I like. I like it a lot. Cool. Right, let's see if there's anything worth scanning on this planet then, creature wise. I hope its creatures are as interesting as the last planet we was on. Hold on, is there bubbles? No. Aha! It's like a little No Man's Sky goat again. It's not quite as cute as the last one. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, we've got something over here. Oh, it's the flying fish! Cool! Okay, and we've got this guy over here. Looks like a deformed hamster. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else for me to scan? Nope. Well, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, tell a light. There's something just over here, over yonder hill. Oh, flying airworm. Nice. 
We'll have you. What else is over here? There's two more dots. Oh, they don't look too interesting. Oh, actually, not too bad. Is that a cat creature? I don't know what that is. No, it's a furry dude. Let's have a look at that furry guy that I just scanned. Oh, man. He's freaking cute, isn't he? Creates beautiful webs. we got this chap as well. Kind of cute. Not cute. That's pretty awesome. And that's the flying fish. Pretty cool. All right, anyways, anyways, we're, we're here for the archives. We're not here for the creatures, really. I mean, they, they do serve as a bit of a bonus, you know, sort of sell the planet to you guys and the viewer verse, because I'm going to get you guys to sort of vote on which one you like the most. Shelter detected. No, thank you. I want a colossal Arkhamer knife. Yes. Cool. Nope. Don't want that. Let's try again. Kapow. Come on, come on. You know you want to be an archive. Minor settlement detected. Dang it. What system is this? Is this a Corvac system? No, it's a Gex system. Okay. All right. Cool. Yep. It's just that the last one was Corvax, wasn't it? And um, that Corvax system had the same sort of archive as this one. I wondered whether maybe a different race, like the Gek, might have the round ball. Um, so maybe it's the Viking ones that have the round ball, but I don't think so. Alright, okay, cool. We're heading over. That's not that's not a colossal archive. That's a trading post. That's a shelter. I'm sure I just hit up colossal archive. Was it trading post that I hit? It must have been... Okay. Yeah, must have been a trading post. Right, I'm seeing things, people. I'm seeing things. I need to get my eyes tested. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Hopefully that's going to be the Colossal Archive this time, people. Come on, yes, there we go. Planetary Archive detect hard. Detected. Lovely. Well, I've got freaking waypoints all over the blinking shop now, people. Oh, look, there's another creature we haven't scanned. Let's scan him as well. It's another airworm. Looks just like the last airworm. Right, awesome. So we've got that. Let's go and see the colossal archive that's on this planet. I wonder if the archives are different from planet to planet in our system. They shouldn't be. I'd imagine they're all the freaking same. But um, I haven't done a lot of testing around this, to be honest. So it's kind of an interesting episode, even for moi. Yeah, learning as we go, learning as we go. It's all good. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Colossal archive. On our way! Right, let's have some more tea, I think, people. Hmm. I think this I think this song is called Yoga Style by Chris Hagen. That's a very Indian feel. I'm drinking a well it's a breakfast tea, an English tea, but it, I think the teas are from India. So, you know, kind of a nice little bit of a tune for a oh, cup of tea. Hold on. The last one was like yellow, wasn't it? This one looks like it might be red and white. I could be wrong. Oh, I do like the Gek ones because of the Gek holograms at the front there. In fact, I might even build the news desk underneath that. That might be a better sort of approach for this one. Let's have a look at it because I think this might be red and white. Oh, it is, I think. Yes, I think it is. Or is it an orange? It's hard. I think it's red. It's red. It's red and white. Oh, and I quite like the top of this one. It's got quite a lot of plumes of smoke coming off of it and everything, hasn't it? It's got these lower launch thrusters as well on it. Oh, very cool. Yeah, you know what? I think I might build this news desk underneath this. Yeah, I have that. Oh, no, because I'm only going to see the ship that's landing down there. And, and ships might land on me because there's two landing pads here as well, which could get a little bit loud and a bit annoying. So, yeah, uh, I might make the news desk in some different position on this one. Though. I could build it up here, couldn't I? I suppose. I don't suppose it really matters. I mean, if I've got the news desk there, you can kind of see the Gex in the background, can't you? All the way over there. Yeah, I could build it up here on this top mezzanine. Hmm. Could do. All right. Anyway, let's put down the base computer. Quite like this one. I quite like the planet. I quite like the actual archive. It's not bad. It's going to be a hard decision between this one and the previous one. Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Oh, Captain Steve, oh, Captain Steve, how do you do the things you do? Captain, Captain. Groovy little tune, eh? It's Toe Tapper, Earworm, I guess. 
Right, we'll claim that. Let's just put down a save point as well. Oh, you're not a save point. You could have worked as a save point, Steve. There we go. Boom. Okay. Oh, for fudge sake, I didn't put it down, did I? Ah, oh, for fudge, fudge, can't do the buttons. Buttons. I need to be in creative mode as well. You know what, people? I'll be right back with you guys in the viewerverse after I've built a desk. Heck yes, see you in a mo. Right, well, people, I am back. I've built a little muse desk. It's not a very good one, this one. I just done this one super quick. Yeah, just drinking a bit of tea. I'll show you what I built anyway, people. Let's jump on over into game. Dun, dun, dun. Boom. Right, so this is what I've built on this one. And it, it, I just put some bubble pipes all the way up there. It looks really janky and a bit shite, doesn't it? But there we go. I quite like the decals that I put on this. And I use the little holographic geck since we've got the holographic geck heads over there. Look, I'll just go stand around here. As, just pretend this is real Captain Steve there. But if I just go into the old camera mode, boom. If I make it night time, you can see the glow in the dark geck heads behind me. What you can't see, though, is any of the NPCs me being up this high. So I think what I might do is rather than be up here, if I am to keep with this one, if you guys vote for this one, I will probably build a desk somewhere down here somewhere. Maybe here. So I've got a couple of gecks right behind me maybe in the middle here so you can still see some of those holographic geck heads i mean i could build it under here the only thing is you're not going to see those lovely geck heads that i really like so if i am to keep this one i think somewhere around here might make more sense peeps Hercules. Yes. or even in this center square here and then you've got those people right near us that'd be pretty cool actually right there and then you'll see all the ships landing as well i think that might be a groovy spot i should have built it there really people shouldn't i but there we go um so that's this one and i really quite like this archive it's not as high as the last archive i've gone underneath it now haven't i but yeah it's not as high as the last archive and it is red it is red and it matches my ship colors it matches my logo colors and I quite like this one. It's a little bit more compact in height. But I do like it, and I do like the colour of the planet. If I had to choose out of the two, I don't know which one I would choose. So, yeah, you lucky people in the view of us. You've got your work cut out for you by the time we've done our three. So, yeah, hopefully next episode I'll find a third one. There's a third contender, because, you know, why the fudge not? So the first one was a Corvax. This one was Gek. The next one I'm going to look for a Viking one anyway, people in the view of us. So there you go. Heck yes, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. Salute to Mondo, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.